We loved watching our favorite Disney princesses when we were kids, but they might not have been the best role models. Stay tuned until the end to know what went wrong in the movie Frozen. If you love Disney movies as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we are showing you 10 terrible lessons Disney movies shouldn't be teaching kids. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What should you do if your daughter was more beautiful than you? You would simply wait until the teenager gets a few pimples and a weird new style during her awkward phase. Not try to kill her and ask a hunter to come back with her heart. We understand that the young princess had no other choice but to run away into the forest and find some place to be safe. But why does keeping the house the only thing that she has to offer to the dwarfs? Why is she leaving a life of slavery to do the same thing for strangers? Disney wanted to show that she was getting ready to be a good housewife for a future husband, but we hoped that men would be looking for much more than that, like a sandwich. No, we're kidding. Snow White never learned that she should never trust strangers because she did didn't mind biting an apple offered by an old witch. We have to admit that we would have done the same thing if Girl Scouts were at our door, but this time she decided to trust an ugly and evil witch. And by the way, why can't the evil queen pretend to be a Girl Scout instead? If you want to teach kids how to be evil, give them better ideas, Disney. And what about the happy ending? A stranger decided to kiss her dead body? We don't know about you, but this first impression wouldn't encourage us to marry this man. Cinderella. This rags to riches story is probably the most popular fairy tale and also the weirdest one. Cinderella was treated like a servant by her evil stepmother and her stepsisters. It would be too easy to say that she should have asked for help. It's very hard to leave everything behind when you have been told for years that you deserved it. But when you think about it, her happily ever after isn't really happy either. Cinderella didn't help herself or ask for help. She just waited for a fairy godmother to magically appear and save her. If you're waiting for that, you'll be waiting for a long time, kid. Then she went to a ball where she met a prince who was looking for a woman to marry. If you ever go to a party where a rich player is just looking for a new girlfriend, you should never think that he is husband material. Then he spent all the evening dancing with her without even asking what her name was. The only thing that mattered to him was that she was pretty. And grown-ups would understand that dancing was a symbol for getting luckier than this. Anyway, Cinderella had to leave at midnight, leaving one shoe behind. When looking for her, the prince couldn't even remember what she looked like. He simply asked every girl in the kingdom to try on the shoe to see if it fits. You deserve better than this girl. Sleeping Beauty. We were tired of Disney princesses who only knew how to be pretty and clean the house. This is why Disney made sure that we would get a Disney princess who only knows how to be pretty. The first things the fairies thought about were the gift of beauty and the gift of the song. They just didn't have time to give her the gift of the good housewife before Maleficent ruined the party. The young princess was singing alone in the woods when she first met her prince. We don't know about you, but we wouldn't be enchanted to meet a stranger who randomly starts singing in dancing with us. Or at least we wouldn't start crying when the fairies would tell us that we can't be with him. Or maybe that's because that's when the fairies finally told her that she was stuck in an arranged marriage. Her name was actually Aurora and her parents had been waiting for her during all this time. She didn't know about that for 16 years and her parents suddenly wanted her to get married and make babies. She was just tired of this and it wasn't that bad to sleep for a couple of months until she was ready to face this. But she never thought that she would be ready to face a stranger randomly kissing her while she was sleeping. Disney should teach kids that if she can't say no, she can't say yes. The Little Mermaid. Ariel never liked to follow the rules. She was obsessed with the human world, even though her father thought that she shouldn't be interested in that. She was just a normal teenager after all, but it got worse when she met a prince and immediately fell in love with him, even though they never even had the chance to talk. She was ready to leave everything behind for this stranger, her world, her family, and even her own identity. This is why she made a deal with the witch to have a pair of legs in exchange for her voice. And she only had three days to make the stranger fall in love with her or she would have to suffer a terrible fate. We don't know about you, but we think that you should never change who you are to please your crush, mostly when you don't even know them. This is how you give away the best things you had, the reasons why he would have loved you. And isn't it a terrible idea to not be able to communicate in any way just because you want to look better? For once, the prince was decent enough not to want to kiss a girl without her consent. Ariel got everything wrong and she is just extremely lucky that she got the chance to live a happy ending. It didn't end that way in the original fairy tale. Beauty and the Beast. We thought that we would finally have the chance to meet a good role model when we saw that Belle was really smart. She wasn't interested in Gaston and the only man that she loved was her father. However, she loved him a little too much and everything turned out to be wrong when she tried to save her father. She asked the Beast to take her as his prisoner and let her father be free in exchange. That was a really courageous decision, but it didn't take too much time 
before everything turned out to be wrong. Just like many other women, she made the mistake to think that she could turn a bad man into a Prince Charming. We understand that she had no other choice but to accept this situation because she couldn't escape. But she became a terrible role model when she actually fell in love with him. Okay, he did have a big library, but you should know that it's not only the size that matters. She should have run away as soon as she had the opportunity to do so, but she eventually came back because she realized that she loved the man who kidnapped her. This shouldn't be called a love story, this should be called the Stockholm Syndrome. Sorry Emma Watson, but you didn't manage to turn it into a feminist story in the live action movie. Aladdin, let's travel to another country to see if things are better down there. This time we follow the story of a young thief. He actually had a good reason to be a thief, so that's okay. But giving bread to poor kids doesn't make you a perfect person. The problem was that he was interested in Princess Jasmine, even though he knew nothing about her. Once again, it was only based on looks. And this time, the street urchin thought wealth and status would make people like him. It actually worked for most people, but not Princess Jasmine. This is why he had to find another way to make her fall in love with him. And he just kept lying, lying, and lying during the whole story. He even lied to Jeannie when he broke his promise to let him out of the lamp. This is not the kind of people that you should trust. This is why Jasmine told him that she wasn't a prize to be won. But shortly after, she agreed to fly away with him on his magic carpet. And if it's not a good idea to follow a stranger in his car, it's not a good idea to fly around the world with him a few hundred feet above the ground. Aladdin did learn his lesson at the end, but no matter what, many kids were convinced that you could lie as long as you make sure that everyone forgives you after. The Princess and the Frog With a more recent story, we hope that Disney would make the opportunity to make something better. We finally met a young woman who had ambitions and worked hard to start her own restaurant. But surprisingly, many people loved Charlotte even more, so we guess that kids are not interested in better role models. Anyway, Tiana wanted to start her own restaurant, and she was ready to do anything for this, including kissing a frog. What is she going to do next when a man asks her for a special service in exchange for money? Don't encourage young girls to do one of the oldest jobs in the world. However, we learned at the end of the movie that marrying for money is totally fine if you're a guy. We won't thank Disney for teaching us that. Many people also criticize that Disney wasn't really ready for their first black princess because she was actually green for most of the movie. Voodoo was also shown in a stereotypical way Way, which isn't good for people who practice this religion. In the end, Tiana was almost ready to give up everything just to be with Naveen. Why would Disney create such an ambitious character just to ruin everything at the end? Well, she did get the guy and the restaurant at the end, but we should stop telling girls that they will be lucky if they take the easy way. Brave. And here comes a Disney princess who is not interested in a prince. Unfortunately, that doesn't make the movie perfect. That's because her parents still thought that getting married was one of the most important things ever and traditions couldn't be broken. They thought that that was the only way their daughter could be happy until she decided to compete for her own hand. Pretending to be someone you're not won't make you happy either. And thankfully, Merida agreed to this. Unfortunately, it was sad to see that she felt like she didn't belong in her family either. This Disney movie showed that being the oldest sucks. Girls never get along with their mothers and little boys always get away with everything. While a lot of people can relate to this, that shouldn't be a role model. But what is a girl supposed to do? We were shown that being strong was only for boys. Being a lady means that you can't have fun, and all men are good in sports. If there is one thing you could do, it's simply to run away from your problems. Thankfully, Merida was there to break the rules, but that shouldn't include things like becoming friends with a bear or taking food for strangers. While Brave was an improvement, we can't say that Disney would get an A plus for this lesson. Tangled, we couldn't wait to see this new Disney princess, but then we were really disappointed right at the beginning of the story. That's because Flynn Rider was the one who narrated Rapunzel's story, as if she didn't have a word to say about that. Maybe they think that she's not capable of handling her own life. That seemed to be the case in the original fairy tale because the princess never used her own hair to escape. But they explained that she was scared of the outside world in the movie, so it made more sense. And we were happy to see that she was terrified to see a man break into her room, and she even fought back. She used a pan, a symbol of a woman who stays at home against him. But come on, girl, don't leave with him right after. Why does she need a man to save her like all the other Disney princesses before her? At least least if there was one good thing about this movie, it is that she had to save him too. However, the only way to save Rapunzel was to cut her hair. It was a tragic moment and she seemed to lose her youth and her femininity when her hair turned short and brown. But she is much more than her hair. We also don't like that a princess can only live happily ever after if she gets married. This isn't only about boys. Frozen. And here come the Disney princesses, or the princess and the queen, who were finally better role models. But once again, we can't say that they are 
aren't perfect. One of the biggest mistakes that Elsa ever did was to simply run away from her problems. That's a normal reaction for a young kid. But even when she was a queen, she just left her kingdom to lock herself in her ice castle and leave everyone suffering in an eternal winter. It is not until the end of the movie that she finally faces this problem. And how come she can't talk to her sister about this, even when they are grown-ups? Let's talk about Anna too. Once again, a Disney princess fell in love with a stranger and immediately wanted to marry him. This was when Elsa said one of the best things ever. You can't marry a man you just met. Every other character on this list will have to learn something from this. But we have to admit that she fell in love with Kristoff a little too fast too. But that's still better than what we've seen previously. And by the way, we don't even know how she didn't die from hypothermia. Disney animators clearly don't know anything about winter. Which terrible lesson did you learn from Disney movies? Don't be shy to answer in the comment section down below. We love to hear what you think. And that's it for 10 terrible lessons Disney movies shouldn't be teaching kids. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and please give us a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.